Local leaders are speaking out ahead of the Tennessee Legislature's special session on gun control. Good evening, I'm Ansley Daniel. And I'm Terry Craig. Governor Lee called the session after the Covenant School shooting and weeks of protests demanding action on gun legislation at the state capitol this spring. But some Republican lawmakers have criticized the governor, even calling to cancel the session. News Channel 11's Katherine Simpson spoke to state and local Hawkins County leaders today about what they want to see. She joins us now from our Kingsport Bureau. Katherine? Terry Ansley, this week the Hawkins County Commission voted unanimously to pass a resolution that expressed their opposition to red flag laws. Now that's a type of law that would allow law enforcement to restrict individuals access to guns and it's similar to something that Governor Bill Lee proposed at the end of the session last year. I spoke with the commissioner who authored the resolution about why he doesn't support them. Very clear and very simple to, you know, Hawkins County, we oppose any red flag laws and we think we need to focus on the root cause. Monday, the Hawkins County Commission voted 14 to 0 to send a resolution to Governor Bill Lee and its state representatives, urging the General Assembly to reject red flag laws and focus instead on mental health care. I think the majority of each Tennessee understands that. You know, we all, you know, guns are part of our life here. Red flag laws, also known as extreme risk protection orders, allow courts and law enforcement to restrict access to firearms for people deemed dangerous. State Representative Gary Hicks echoed the commission's position on the cause of gun violence. It's not the gun. We know that. It is the person holding the gun. He says whatever comes out of the special session has to balance public safety with Second Amendment rights. The main thing for us is as we go into special session is that, you know, we want to make sure sure that we're not trampling on the constitutional rights of law-abiding citizens. Hicks says when he returns to Nashville, he'd like to focus on helping schools improve mental health services so they can identify potential safety threats early on. Being able to pick up on that early, but not just about picking it up, but actually having some resources to be able to help those folks, you know, to get out of the situations that they're in. 